Hello everyone. Automating PDF annotations and comments is a great way to streamline feedback collection and compliance review for important documents. In this video, we will learn how to automatically add new annotations and comments to PDF list item attachments using the Cloudmersive PDF connector. Before we begin, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. We will first click Create and select the Automated Cloudflow option. We will then select the When an Item is Created trigger action. Our flow is going to listen for new SharePoint list items, get the attachments and attachment contents from those items, add a specific annotation to the document, and then add the updated document back to the list item. We will first select our site address and list name from each dropdown in our trigger action. We will need to select these values for each SharePoint action we use in this flow, and I will be skipping over that part going forward. We will now add a new action, and we will look for the SharePoint Get Attachments action. We will use our list item ID to configure this action correctly. Next, we will add another new action, and this time we will look for the Get Attachment Content action. We will add both our list item ID and our file attachment ID in the bottom two fields. We will notice that Power Automate wraps this action in a for each control. This accounts for the possibility of multiple file attachments to a single SharePoint list item. We will now add a new action within our for each control to incorporate our PDF annotation step. We will search for Cloudmersive connectors and we will scroll down until we find the Cloudmersive PDF connector with the pink logo. We will then click See More to view the actions list, and from here, we will look for an action centered around adding annotations and comments to PDF documents. When we click on this action, we will first need to configure our Cloudmersive connection. As long as we have a premium Power Automate account, we can use Cloudmersive connectors for free with a free API key. That allows a limit of 800 API calls per month, and we can get one by visiting the Cloudmersive website and creating a free account. We will now click Show All to view our advanced parameters, and we will then click Add New Item to begin a new annotation. Here, we will include our attachment contents in the File Bytes field at the bottom, and we will add all the information our document needs in a structured request object to create and index our annotation. That includes providing the annotation index, defining the annotation type, specifying the creation date, plotting the location on our PDF page matrix, setting its height and width, and, of course, setting the subject, text content, and title of the annotation content. In my example, I will be adding a generic annotation to the center right margin of the first page of a sample PDF document. Since I'm using a default PDF paper size, I'll be placing my annotation at 550 by 504 on the page matrix. We can add as many new annotations as we want to a document by simply adding new annotation item objects like this one in our request. We will now add one final action to our flow, and we will search for the Add Attachment action. We will use this option instead of replacing the original file just so we can see the input and the output next to one another. After we define our site address, list name, and list name ID, we will add output content from our create annotation step to define our attachment, and we will give our file an appropriate name. To maintain an organized file naming convention, I like to use the slice function here to modify the original display name before adding plus comments in a new PDF extension to the string. We will now save and test our flow, which entails adding a new PDF attachment to our SharePoint list. When our flow finishes running, we will find the commented version of our document attached alongside the original document on our list. When we open our new document, we will find our annotation or comment in the location that we specified. That concludes this demonstration. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to reach out to any member of our team.